Saturna. Yeah. So we're kicking out Saturna, our new event series here at Radio Tulum. This is Alexander, half of DKDS, from New York, New York. We're here with Cristo from Habitas. Alexander from Just Alexander. Today's transmission with some tequila. Guys, thank you for coming. Christo, thank you for coming. It's gonna be a good night. Thank you, Radio Tulum, for the preparations. The bar looks great. The projections look on point. Paul M, the new heart of Tulum. Hear the love. So Alex, how's been your time? How has been your time in Tulum? I just passed my six months. It's pretty good. It's crazy. I never, you know, I, I didn't plan on this all happening. So it's pretty good, pretty cool experience. So, right. what is currently happening at Kiki? Like you got there right in the beginning? Yeah. I'm helping open it up. I'm a resident teacher over there doing the bookings, and uh, we're doing. four months now, you know, got everybody coming through from all over. Um, I'm bringing people down from New York, we're bringing people from Europe, hometown heroes too, you know, we got everybody coming through. So what's happening in the next few months? That's what we're working on right now, we're bringing out the things, it's like our high season just ended, you know, we had the big BPM, the last BPM, unfortunately, what happened there. Uh, so now we're planning for next season, so I'm going to have to keep it a secret for me for a little bit, but you'll see soon. We're planning big things. Interesting. So also we have here just Alexander from Detroit Kalamazoo, Detroit Zoo, the zoo. Uh, Alex and I went to school together. Uh, we lived through that pain, and now he's here. He's been here three times this year. Three times. The first time was for BPM. He played a live set here at Radio Tulum. Um, the second time. Uh, yeah, it was BPM, and then here. So what are we gonna hear tonight, Alex? We're gonna play some of my favorite tracks I've been playing recently over at Kiki. I try to play there a couple times a week, so I've just been... Some of the tracks I've been waxing recently that I'm enjoying got some good vibes. Again. Awesome. <laughs> so we have Crystal here. You said we were from Austin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austin. Los Angeles. Are you wired, bro? Are you wearing a wire? <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, no, definitely not. No mames, cabrón. No mames, wey. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Los Angeles, uh, New York, San Fran, Tulum based now. Over at Habitas. What is Habitas exactly? Habitas is a... Habitas is a, a self-sustainable hotel that uh, brings the vibes, brings the... Uh, Holds a space. It's probably my hat. It's probably my hat. There's metal. There's metal in my hat. You're wired, bro. That's the hat. That's the hat you wear. Yeah. So, so 
you were saying Habitat is a sustainable hotel. Sustainable hotel. We uh, create soft space for people to come and become themselves and have a little genuine human experience. So the vessel is the? The vessel is our beach club. It is the, the space that we have built for myself and other amazing musicians to come and express themselves. Hopefully we'll get both of the Alex's in there at some point. What does Habitas has to do with uh, Papaya? Uh, so Papaya and Habitas are basically located right next to each other. Um, they are brother and sister, sister and brother to each other, and uh, they both bring they both bring the tasty vibes to Tulum. Interesting. And what is your relationship with uh, Burning Man, and what does Habitas have to do with uh, Burning Man? Well, my relationship with Burning Man is about eight years in. Habitas is a good four years into it. We also do the same thing there, is just create a beautiful space for like-minded individuals, art artists and musicians to come and express themselves and give their gifts, their offerings to anyone who wants to come and listen. What do, what do you see the relationship between what happens at Burning Man and what that has created and Tulum and what it is right now? Well, I would say this, uh, Burning Man's principles are that of radical inclusion and radical self-expression, and that is one thing that you definitely find here in Tulum. It's all about coming here to express yourself, to become one with nature, and to uh, pull out your, you know, feed your savage heart. Alex, Scorpio, um, you're playing this year in an after party of movement? Yeah, the Motor City Wine 10 year anniversary. Uh, you know, movement is a special thing in the house and techno world, so really looking forward to that. What do you see happening right now in Detroit? I left two years ago, what's been happening? Uh, you know, I would say things are improving. Um, the parties go, everything I've seen of late is uh, quality and there's kind of a new class of people coming up that are doing quality things. Um, so Detroit continues to uh, produce talent and uh, a lot of that gets exported. Um, those people go out and play all over the world and that keeps on happening and it's a good thing. Yeah. So tell me if I'm wrong, but I observe that during that in Detroit there's like this constant like dialectic movement between going back to roots and trying that new new thing, new yeah. sounds. It's kind of a yeah, I can see that. Um, I can see that, yeah, that observation makes sense. Um, you know, I always enjoy it when people do push things forward, but also pay homage to the past. So like might do things new and different, um, but you kind of tip your hat to where it all came from. To me, that's really important uh, to know where everything started and why it started. Otherwise, you get too far away from it. So where do you think you are in that spectrum of from classic to contemporary, that, like that, that movement? I don't, uh, I, I'm more of a tip of the hat to the past type of person, um, at this point at least. Um, still got work to do there um, before I put my kind of mark on it, you know. You gotta, you gotta do it when you're ready. You don't want to rush that. So it's a very important thing to me is to be respected. So uh, I'm not in a huge rush to put my stamp on something until I've really crafted um, what's came before I got here. You know? <laughs> and that's how you, that's how you answer a question. I, I'm terrible at these things. It's fine. You, you did your fine. <laughs> <clears throat> and so between Corridor 95, that you have, uh, your 94, <laughs> it was one year later. Translation error. Yeah. <laughs> between Corridor 94, which uh, you share with uh, Poncha Train, yeah. Dustin, and yourself as just Alexander, yeah. what do you see is the difference or the relationship between those two sounds? Um, for Just Alexander, it's kind of a, um, it can go different places, 
uh, musically, so it's more wide. It's a larger scope of music. Uh, where Corridor of Night 4 is more defined um, and, and to more of the techno side of things. But Just Alexander, I mean, I'm just going to read the room and do whatever needs to happen within certain parameters. <laughs> um, so the point tonight is just to have a little gathering of friends, just sharing. We're going to have the residents from Radio Tulum, Faku, and Potato Soup. They're coming up later, later, later. Then Cristo, before that at midnight, Stroke of Midnight, is going to do a projection set design and he's going to bring his ceremonial music to kind of launch. So Bohem, has been, it's now the home of Radio Tulum. It's finally complete. complete. It's been a long process, a lot of work. Every detail here, somebody put a lot of energy into it. So thank you for Eric and Mandeep, who's currently in the New York. Um, so yeah, we're gonna kick off with some music by Alex slash Ander. And thank you for coming. <laughs> 